Hey guys, it's JT here with my uh, Chaos Dragon deck profile update, and uh, this is Chaos Dragons 1.5. Uh, I haven't updated in a long time. This is, I believe, like three months since my last update, and this one is current for the September 2013 ban list and up to date with Lord of Tachyon Galaxy and Judgment of Light cards. And I'll probably do another update. Um, Probably pretty quickly, actually, because this is my first profile since the new ban list, and my first one in a while. So probably in the next couple of weeks, Chaos Dragons 1.6, and then another one probably when Shadow Specters comes out, but that's a ways away. So anyways, let's get started. Um, as always, we'll start with the Light Sworn Engine. I run uh, one Jane, Light Sworn Paladin, uh, three Lila, Light Sworn Sorceress. And three Ryko Lightsworn Hunters. The Lightsworn engine, as we all know, is to get cards in the grave graveyard and also Ryko's effect to destroy any card on the field when he's flipped, and then Lila to destroy a spell or trap card. And then Jane is used I've used him because he can get twenty one hundred attack when he's attacking a monster. So he can break that two thousand uh, defense barrier. This would focus. Okay. But yeah, anyways, um, he gains 300 attack basically when he attacks a monster. So if something has 2,000 defense, he can break that 2,000 defense barrier and destroy that in case you can't get any bigger cards in the field. Um, next, I run two card troopers. Uh, card trooper is also for milling cards. And um, that's basically it. When he's destroyed, you get to draw a card. On to the dragons. Uh, starting out, we have one Divine Dragon Apocryph, one Eclipse Wyvern, one Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, one Interplanetary Purpley Thorny Dragon, one Dark Armed Dragon, one Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. And then onto the main ones, we have three dark flares and also three light uh, pulsar. The dragons in this deck, um, in case you don't know, they are basically the deck. Um, light pulsar and dark flare have an effect where they can be special summoned from the hand by banishing a light or dark card in your grave, light and dark card in your graveyard. Sorry. Um, they have 2400 attack for Dark Flare and 25 for Light Pulsar. Uh, each of them have other effects too. Um, personally, I like Light Pulsar is a lot better from whenever he's sent to the field of the graveyard. You get to special summon one level 5 or higher Dark Dragon type monster. So uh, that's in your graveyard. So that can either be Interplanetary, Purple Thorny, or Red Eyes Darkness Metal, or Dark Flare. So it's kind of cool. Um, and then Red Eyes and Galaxy eyes and dark armed are your kind of boss dragons um, a lot of people don't run galaxy eyes I like to run it um, similar to Jane it can take out uh, monsters that I might not have enough attack to currently take out so say someone has a 3500 attack monster and I don't have any effects to destroy it uh, galaxy eyes can attack and then banish both it that monster with 3500 attack and itself for the turn so that can clear the field at least for a little bit so hopefully you can get some attacks in that way um, and if you banish an Xyz that way he gains 500 attack. Um, on to hand traps around 1 max C 1 gore is the emissary of darkness and 1 effect veiler I was really excited. I thought that OCG ban list was going to be the TCG one, and I was excited to run two gores, but that didn't happen, so. Oh well. Um, those are all pretty self explanatory cards. I think you guys can understand that. If not, that sucks. Um, I run one Blackwing Gale of Whirlwind. Uh, I use him because he is a tuner. And he's a dark sometimes. Usually it's darks that I need in the graveyard, not lights, but they're pretty much balanced out now. But 
whenever I take him out, I find that I need darks in the graveyard, so... I like to have him in there, and he's a cool effect to have the attack and defense of any monster your opponent controls once per turn, and it's a permanent effect, so... It stays that way, so... I like him. On to the tour guide engine. I run two tour guides from the underworld. And one Night Assailant. That's my tour guide engine now. Um, I kind of stopped with rank 3 Xyz. I don't think they're that good anymore for me. Because this is a really offensive deck. There's not really much defense. So not much I can do. Um, I guess sometimes I bring out Zen Minus if I'm really in a pinch. And I need something to just hold me off for a turn or two. So I can get some cards in the graveyard. But I mean if I try and bring out like Acid Golem. Then that prevents me from special summoning any other cards. Or if I try and bring out uh, like Leviar, then he's not going to be high enough attack. So, but he can help too at times. So, that's why I still run this engine at all. Um, next we have our Chaos monsters, which are Chaos Sorcerer and Blackluster Soul Drawn Boy. The beginning. For those of you that have been wanting to run Chaos Dragons for a while, but some of the cards are harder to get. Well, it'll be easier now with Blackluster Soldier. He's going to be coming out one of the tins, in case you didn't know. So he's going to be a pretty easy card to get. And I don't know if it's just my local Walmart, but uh, I've noticed that there is new Dragon's Collide structure decks there. So that'd be really cool if it was available everywhere. If not, at my local Walmart, we have extra Dragon's Collide structure decks. So that's always cool. Um, yeah, so he... Both these cards have the same summoning effect as Light Pulsar and Dark Flare. Both of them can banish one monster in the field, and Black Luster Soldier can go ham and attack twice if you are just attacking with him. He has 3,000 attack, too, so pretty awesome. Um, I run one trap, and that is Starlight Road. Only trap. I Actually, oops. I never ran it before, but with... Uh, Monster Reborn and Heavy Storm being removed now. I needed something to fill some spots, so I figured I would try Starlight Road. And so far I'm pretty happy with it. Um, onto the spells, I run one Mind Control, one Charge of the Light Brigade, one Solar Recharge, one Different Dimension Reincarnation, one Monster Reincarnation, one Allure of Darkness, one Dark Hole, and two Mystical Space Typhoons. Um, the Mystical Space Typhoons and Dark Hole should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, Solar Recharge and Charge of the Light Brigade are Light Sworn spell cards. Charge of the Light Brigade lets you mill three and then add a Light Sworn to your hand, and then this one lets you discard a Light Sworn from your hand, draw two, and then mill two. So it's really fun if you get these two cards at the same time because it's instantly going to mill five cards and get you an extra two in your hand, plus for sure put one light sword in the graveyard too. So that's always fun. Um, Allure of Darkness, Draw Power, Monster Reincarnation. Um, I've always run this because it can get me back cards that can't be Monster Reborn, like Chaos Sorcerer or sometimes Blackluster Soldier or Dark Arm Dragon. And since Monster Reborn is gone now too, even more reason to run it. And then these two were in my side deck before, but with the new ban list, I decided to give them a shot. So we'll see how I'm, I'm going to try and focus that. It's not, not focusing. Anyways, I'm going to try and run these two and see how they work. Uh, so far, I like them. Um, they're pretty self-explanatory, too. Mo mind control, grab a card from your opponent, different dimension reincarnation. Um, just bring back one of your banished cards. So that is it for the main deck. That's 40 cards. Um, like I said earlier, this will probably change pretty soon because it's my first one with this new ban list, and it's a pretty big change. So expect something to change pretty quickly here with this. And I don't have a side deck right now because I really don't know what I want to change yet, so there's no point having a side deck. Or Basically, there's too much room for... Um, the unknown. So I'm going to leave the side deck out for now. Probably my next update, I will have it back. But I do have the extra deck. So let's get right into that then. Starting with rank 3 Xyz, I have one number 30 Acid Golem of Destruction, one Leviar the Sea Dragon, 
and one windups and minus. Um, like I talked about earlier, they they're all good cards, but Acid Golem can slow you down because you can't special summon. Leviar doesn't have a whole ton of attack, and Zen Minus is simply a defensive card. So I pretty much only use Acid Golem if I'm going for an OTK or something. I already have all my other cards on the field. Leviar, if I need to get uh, something back that's banished really quick, and Zen Minus, just if nothing else, might as well. Um, for rank fours, I have one Steel Swarm Roach. One Photon pap Papal Operative. One Star Leash Paladynamo. One number 39 Utopia. And that's it for Rank 4s. Um, they're all pretty basic. I don't know why. I mean, Steel Swarm Roach is probably the one I use the least. But I still use him quite a bit too, so. They're all fun cards. I like them. And most of them have cool artwork, except for Photon Papal Operative. Pretty crappy artwork, but Starleash makes up for it. On to rank fives, we have one Wind Up Arsenal's and Mayo, one Adrius Keeper of Armageddon, and that's it. Um, I like Wind Up Arsenal's and Mayo. I don't know if a lot of people run him in their Chaos Dragons, but he's really cool. And one thing that I do have a problem with. Chaos Dragons is, well, it might not be so much anymore, but there's a lot of back row that would slow me down or take me out because I just go for pure attack in this deck, basically. Um, but now, without Heavy Storm, he can help because he can take out two set cards on the field, so that's always nice. And he's 2600 attack, so that's good too. And then Adrius, he's Adrius, so I think he's actually pretty common for every deck. Um, for rank 6, I have one Photon Strike Bouncer and one Sword Breaker. Um, Photon Strike Bouncer is awesome because you can get him out with two Light Pulsars. So, he's absolutely amazing. He's really easy to get out, actually. And it's a great card. And then Sword Breaker, uh, I use him occasionally. He's kind of, I'm kind of just testing him out right now, but I like him, so... For now, he is in. He's got 2,700 attack. And his effect is, once per turn, you can detach one Axios material from this card to declare one monster type. This card gains the following effect. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles a monster of a type that has been declared, destroy that monster. So, he can basically destroy whatever type you want for that turn. So, And I believe, I could be wrong, let me check again. That effect stacks, so... Say the first turn you said Warriors, the second turn you said Winged Beast. That second turn, the same effect would stay for Warriors, I believe. I could be wrong, but that's how I read it. Um, for Synchros, I have one Ally of Justice Catastor. This card will also be easy to get in the tins. Level 5. And then for level 8s, one Stardust Dragon and one Scrap Dragon. Um, both really good cards pretty obvious. And then my last synchro is Star Eater. You can get him out. Ooh, there we go. It shows the card pretty good right there. Um, you can get him out with like Gale, the Whirlwind, and any of the level 8s. So he actually is not that hard to get out and I really love this card. So he's in. And then lastly I have one Gorge token. You might as well. So that's Chaos Dragons 1.5. 1 uh, 1.6 will probably be out pretty soon, but give it at least another week or two for me to test this out and see what I want to change. So thanks, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe and like, and visit the blog.